Happy holidays, everybody. My name is Matt Klaskowski, and traditionally around this time of year, a gentleman who I met online years ago, uh, Ed Weaver, he releases these really slick looking Lightroom calendar presets and print templates. And so I wanted to just do a quick video, show you where they are, share them with you, and, uh, and show you how to install and how you can use them inside of Lightroom. All right, now, two quick things. Number one, if you like these videos, do me a huge favor and uh, click that little subscribe button up there, please. Uh, if, if you like them, this is the easiest way to make sure you don't miss any videos. Number two, there's gonna be a link that pops up and, uh, and it's gonna be in the description as well. So if you click this link or you go to the description, it takes you to the website. The calendar templates are free takes you to the website where I wrote about it and you can go to, uh, you can go over to Ed's website, download them for free. He shares them. Big thank you to Ed. All right. Now, uh, here's a, uh, here's a very quick example of one of the, uh, one of the layouts that I did here. So basically what Ed's done is, is he's created these, he's created the calendar graphics for you. All right. And they're very high quality. They'll scale to print larger sizes. And then he's created the Lightroom print templates. So all you basically have to do once you get all this into Lightroom is just drag and drop. All right. You don't have to lay anything out. Everything's laid out for uh, all a lot of the main paper sizes as well. And there's multiple uh, layouts as you see when we get in there. If you want to put more months on there, you can put three months or all 12 months onto a bigger print if, uh, if that's what you want to do. Okay. So I think uh, the first thing we should do is Let's take a look at how to get the, uh, the, the calendar graphics and the Lightroom presets into Lightroom and then some ways that we can use them. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get a few things into Lightroom to make this work. And there's two parts to this. In fact, if you look at the downloads that Ed has prepared, and by the way, he's even got a manual that he uh, so kindly created inside of here. Um, there's, there's two main sections to this, even though you see three folders. So section number one is the calendar printing templates. All right, these go into Lightroom. We're gonna take a look at them in just a second here. All right, these are the actual templates that um, Ed pre-designed are all laid out for uh, creating things inside of Lightroom. So that's gonna be a part that goes into Lightroom. The other thing that you need to get into Lightroom are the actual calendar images. All right, so these are JPEGs of all the calendar images for the year that Ed created. So we need to get those into Lightroom. You can see there's large numbers and then there's small numbers. So he created two different one of them here. Um, okay, so here's what we're gonna do we're going to go into Lightroom let's get the uh, let's get the calendar images in here first before we get over to the print module so we're going to go to file import and then you're going to go and navigate to the folder that has everything inside of it so if you unzip the file you can really just click on that top level folder because there's other stuff inside of there Lightroom won't import it um, if it's a file that Lightroom doesn't support so it's only going to import the JPEG files that you see right here all right, and make sure you choose the include subfolders uh, checkbox up there because it goes into all the subfolders there. So there's all of our calendar images. One of the things that I would probably do is to make things a little bit easier, especially if you're using the CC version of Lightroom, go ahead and click add to collection and create yourself a collection. Um, I'm just gonna call mine calendar templates 2017. Okay, let's call it. Let's put 2017 in the front. There we go. Uh, 2017 calendar templates. Uh, I'll go ahead and call that, and that'll th that way it'll dump all of these images inside of there. It'll make it a lot easier to work with. So let's go ahead and cre create there, and then we'll go down and we'll just do, we don't have to do keywords and all that stuff. We're just going to go down and hit import. So that's going to grab all the JPEGs, bring them into Lightroom. Uh, they will live on your hard drive wherever you put them. I happen to have, I think I just left them into a, a demo folder that I have. Go ahead. I, I would suggest putting them where your photos are. That way everything stays nice and tidy. Your, your calendar templates are always going to be where your photos were. Now, we've got those inside of here. And if you go to the little collection, you will see down here, you'll see it says 2017 calendar templates. There they are. So it created a collection for us. Now we're going to head over to the print module and we need to get we need to get these these the the actual Lightroom templates that make the layout possible. We need to get those in here as well. So you're going to go over here to the template browser. You're going to right click and choose new folder. I'm just going to call it 2017 calendar templates and hit create and so now we've got a folder in here then i'm just going to go right click on this folder by the way if you don't know how to right click um it's just 
it's like a two finger click on the, the, the trackpad on a Mac. If you got a PC, you're using a mouse, there's a right click on there. So, um, I actually, I, I get a fair amount of questions on right clicking. Best thing I can say is it you know, might differ for your computer or trackpad, Google it and, uh, and you'll, you'll see how to right click. Um, but we're going to go into, uh, so we're going to right click on the, uh, the 2017 calendar templates. We're going to choose import and then we're going to go find the file that we used before. So I have again, a demo folder here and those are right inside of it. And you can see right inside of there are the calendar printing templates. Okay. And the, you'll know that you're in the right place because they say dot uh, LR template. So all I'm going to do here is just shift click to select all of them, choose import. And when I go open up this folder again, now you're going to see that there's all those calendar templates inside of there. So how do you use them? It's actually really, really simple. I'm going to give you a quick tip before you get there though. All right. Quick tip would be go over into your library and let's say, you know, let's say you've got some photos here. So I've got a few photos that I think I'm going to want to put into my calendar. Uh, what I would suggest is that you take these photos and you put them into the collection that you created with those calendar images. It just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to drag that one in there. Uh, let's go ahead and drag that one in there as well. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll take that one in there too. So I just put a few different photos in there and you can take photos from anywhere. So I'll jump over here to my pictures folder and uh, let's see here. Let's go to my, uh, do a quick sort. We'll take a couple more of them here. just so that we have a few different images to work with. Okay. And then I'm going to take those and then I'm just going to drag them all again into that collection. When I go into that collection, now I'm going to see it's got the photos, but it's also got the calendars in there. And you'll see in a second here, it just makes it easier. Once we get over to the print module, what we're going to do is we're going to click on a calendar preset over here on the left hand side. So let's go with, let's go with a simple one. Okay. Eight and a half by 11, one month. Okay, then let's open up the film strip at the bottom here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your month and you're gonna drag it into the bottom section. All right, and then you're gonna take the photo that you want associated with this and drag it into the top section. That's it, all right? There's nothing else to it. You don't have to do anything else. Uh, there you go. Now, if you wanna do, uh, you can see that's one month. You can see here's a eight and a half by 11 full year landscape. So now I would just take my photo and I would drag my photo into the big area up here. And then I would take each month and drag it into the little sections here. All right, just like that. So follow me, we're doing good. We got, see, we got here uh, eight and a half by 11 full year. We got, so that one was a landscape. This is a portrait version. As you click through, you'll see that there's a bunch of different ones that he's got listed there. Um, common question that I get would be, you know, let's say I choose this one. So let's say we choose the eight and a half by 11 and I get my calendar, but I realize I'm not printing to an eight and a half by 11. Um, and I'm not printing to any of the sizes that Ed has preset here. These are some common print sizes that you would, uh, you, you would be printing to, um, paper sizes. So let's say you want to do an eight by 10. All right. All you got to do is come down here to page setup. And then you can go in here if your printer supports it. So if your printer supports it, let's say I choose, uh, I'm going to choose my, uh, my Epson printer here and what's the size. So we got 17 by 22. Let's go through here and uh, let's take a look. So let's say we're going to do a 16 by 20, all right, 16 by 20. This isn't a size that uh, has a preset in here. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. Click. Okay. And you can see everything changes. The whole layout changes. You can still use it. So what you would do is go ahead and click on the calendar. All right. And then you're going to go up here to the cell section and just choose lock photo aspect ratio. So now I'm going to take that and I'm just going to expand it, drag it down here to the bottom. Just like that. And that lock by, by choosing that checkbox, that way I didn't mess with the aspect ratio of the calendar image. Then I'm going to go over to this one. I don't have to keep this one locked. So I'm just going to click on this one and just expand it to fit so that it looks good with the template that we're using here. 
all right? And that way, even if you don't have the preset sizes that are in here, you can still use it because you can make your own preset sizes as well. And then the last little tip on using these is, uh, and I actually got this from Ed because Ed includes it in the downloads, is if you wanted to tone the color, you can see it's all gray. If you wanted to tone that calendar to maybe the color of the photo, you can go over here to the develop module and you could go down here to the split toning panel and start to increase the saturation and change the color. All right, you'll probably get the most bang for your buck from the highlights. The shadows one doesn't do a whole lot. It kind of works more on that, that, uh, that, the, the day, um, but for the top here, you can get your most bang from the buck from the uh, from the highlight section here, and you can even tweak the balance to go more toward a brighter or more toward a muted type of a look, and of course, you can change the colors to suit, so when we head back over here, you'll see the color is toned a little bit more to the photo that I have here inside of the calendar, okay? So that should give you a, uh, a pretty good start on, on, on getting to use these calendars. You can see there's a, there's a couple of different options there from putting just one month onto the calendar to putting a full year onto the calendar. There's actually an option inside of here that puts three months. So I could do a photo and then I could just do three months if I wanted. All right, so basically just get a quarter in there. So this is the kind of thing, the thing I like about it is I don't necessarily have to decide today. Uh, I can make a printout for January and then come January, I can figure out, well, what photo do I wanna use? What layout do I wanna use for the next month? Or I can create more of them as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Big thanks to Ed for doing this for us. And uh, thank you again for watching.